Oi lads, this is Danny here today. Let's solve this math question right away. So, we got two equations and the goal of this question is to solve what x minus y, what's that equal to? So the, the way we're going to have to do this is we're going to have to do a lot of substitution. So let's go right here then. Right, so this could be rewritten. This equation right here could be written as x is equal to 22.5 divided by y. What I'm going to do afterwards is I'm going to move this x term into this equation, into the first equation which is located on your screen over here. Once we proceed and we do the necessary substitution, as you can see with the arrow, we will obtain 22.5 divided by y. And, that, and that's basically open and close brackets, squared minus y squared is equal to 24. We're going to then have to solve for the y variable, basically isolating for it. And once we do that, We'll obtain this, and this could be rewritten as the following. Right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to follow the y squared, and we're going to basically try solving for it. And when we reach a point over here, we're going to say let p is equal to y squared. The reason why we have to do this is because the goal over here is we're going to have a full degree polynomial, and we want to apply a quadratic formula and then to do so we're going to write y squared in terms of p and when we do that what you are going to be obtaining is p squared plus 24p minus 506.25 and we're going to use a quadratic formula to solve our p variables we're going to have a p1 and a p2 right applying the quadratic formula into you're putting basically the variables inside the quadratic formula will lead you to two different p values which you're going to see on your screen one p value is being 13.5 and the other p value is negative 37.5 right so with these two p values that we obtain using the quadratic formula we know that p is equal to y is equal oh, sorry p is equal to y squared for both p values right so we're going to square root our p value to obtain are two y variables because when you square root you're going to have a positive and a negative and notice on the left hand side we're going to have a positive and minus 3.674 right and on the right hand side we can't really square root a negative so you're going to have an error so really what we have over here is two solutions only and using the these two solutions we can solve for our x term and you know if you put plus or you put minus you guys are going to obtain plus or minus 6.12237 as your x term so you're going to have two solutions as your x because you've got two y's basically right so we established this but we're not done yet we have two possible solutions as you can see we could either we could only take a positive x and a positive y variable to make it equal to 22.5. 22.5 is this equation right here. Or we can get two negatives. So we can have a negative 3.674 multiplied by a negative 6.1237. Both will yield an answer of 22.5. So in this question, there's two possible solutions. And the resulting answer is x minus y could be equal to negative or positive 2.4497 and that's basically it that's the answer for this problem i hope you lot enjoyed it. if this video has helped you a lot please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you lot later